Our first story, Iranian director Mohsen Mahmalbaf does not let politics get in the way of his artistic vision. Mahmalbaf's latest film, The Gardener, that deals with faith and family, was filmed in Israel, of all places. I-24 News journalist Shachar Pelled met with a poetic filmmaker in Jerusalem. We should invite more Iranian filmmakers here to see Israel from close, uh, prepare a situation of peace between Iranian and Israeli culture. Mohsen Mahmalbaf is one of the leading figures in the new wave movement of Iranian cinema. Exiled from his homeland, he decided to film his new feature, The Gardener, in no other place but Israel. Earlier threats on his life and even a grenade thrown in one of his film sets are not considered obstacles in the eyes of the enthusiastic director. No one knows where is Israel, what is Israel, what is going on in Israel. That's why I came here. And I came here to broke Tabo. Coming to Israel uh, is dangerous for Iranian people. You should go five years in prison. You have different religion. The fantastically colorful film explores how different generations view religion and peace. When he arrived in Israel, Mahmal Baf was surprised by the resemblance to his homeland. First thing that shocked me, it was like Iran. You know, I felt I'm in Iran, especially in Haifa. Many alleys and streets, the same as Iran. Even in Urshalim, market is the same as Iranian market. In Shabdul Azim, we have the same market. The historic site of the Ba'i Gardens in Haifa plays a prominent part in the story. The Ba'i faith came out of Iran, and thus Mahmal Baf explores his own people's history, identity, and also current challenges. Iran has two problems, democracy and peace. You could not reach to peace for Middle East by control atomic bomb without reaching to democracy for Iranian people. You think now things will change? By Mr. Rouhani, a little, but not completely. We should support democracy of Iran. Mahmal Baf was born in Tehran and fled the country in 2005, shortly after the election of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. He's certain that winds of change in his homeland will begin through art and culture, while he has a full stomach for politicians. When you talk with politicians, sorry, they are stupid. Stupid, you know, they don't have enough knowledge about the country. They create more problems for our area. Look at to Egypt, look at to Syria. 100,000 people were being killed, no care, no solution. I, I'm very hopeless from politician people. Inside of Iran, inside of Israel, inside of America. In these times of great turmoil all over the world, Mohsen Mahmalbaf continues to shed light on hope and peace and proves that sometimes, where national relations fail, cinema and culture can succeed. Rain will start from one drop of water. Joining us in the studio now is I-24 news journalist Chachar Peled. Chachar, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So Mahmal Baf is uh, one of the most important uh, directors currently working, certainly a very prolific director. Uh, what makes his film stand out? Well, Mahmal Baf, uh, Mahmal Baf's film has the power uh, to change worlds. This is Mahmal Baf's belief. And this makes him different than uh, uh, Kiorastami and Majid Majidi, who are other Iranian directors, leading Iranian directors in the uh, new wave of cinema in Iran. But his strong belief in the power of cinema and in his films to make a change in the world, this is what makes him different. And also the combination, the, the unique combination he makes between uh, fiction and documentary, um, uh, poetic films and realism. This is something he manages to combine in such a beautiful visual way that makes him very unique. Yeah, I was just going to say that because he, he deals in so many different genres and he also shoots in so many different places, he shot in Afghanistan, he shot in Israel, he's shooting in Europe, of course. Um, his film, unlike other filmmakers that focus usually on one genre, 
Uh, he's all over the place. He's all over the place and he loves it. He says he loves working with all kinds of cinema once it touches his audiences in every way. And he's looking not only to his uh, people, to his homeland right. in Iran, which there the black market is the only way they can see his films, but he wants to internationally say something about peace and war, something about the way religion inf influences peace N and war. Now, his visit to Israel is uh, far from obvious. It, it's, it's far from obvious that he come here. Uh, what I thought, I found it very inspiring, but I'm guessing that there are people who found it less inspiring. Absolutely. This was the first time in decades an Iranian filmmaker was in Israel, let alone visit Israel, and it stirred definitely a heated debate uh, among Iranians. Not only uh, inside Iran, but surprisingly outside Iran, there were 150 um, political and social activists uh, writing against uh, Mohammad Baf and saying uh, his visit uh, um, was an implicit support of Israel's apartheid policies. Wow. So they, they were very and in against Iran, him. They took away some of his inside Iran from the Iranian National Cinema Museum. They took out all his awards and works, so no one can now see them. I see. That's a shame. Uh, let's hope that the black market keeps supporting his work. Shahar. Hopefully. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. A pleasure.